Okay, so there's good news. We're driving it. Yes, we have that low engine oil uh, sensor. All right, well, good morning. Finally got some stuff going on. You would not recognize it though, because um, they've got everything out of the uh, camper. They're um, putting in some insulation over here. Some of this, uh, this will be the first time it's ever been used in the summertime. So uh, they wanted to put some insulation in it. They're going to go somewhere for about a week uh, down to Big Bend and go camping. And they're going to take a little air conditioner with it. It actually, we tested it out in just the window and it did kind of cool it down. But um, if it gets up into 100 degrees or whatever, it probably won't keep it. And, um, you know, we've never put insulation in there. If you check out the videos, it's because we've never used it in the summer before. Um, we've only used it in winter camping and hunting so hasn't been an issue but they decided they wanted to go ahead and do that so that they can um you know have a good time down there they've got a generator and all kinds of my, my garage is a mess but it'll get cleaned up once this is done because uh, then all the camping stuff can be put back in there all the extra stuff that he bought in the gas tanks and some of that stuff um he can put that back in there but if you will notice one thing's missing from the driveway right here and uh, put a little clip in there. I actually drove it to work yesterday or this week a couple of times. So finally got the truck put back together. So we got our truck, uh, which actually was a good thing because then he was able to go get all of this stuff. Man, you don't realize how much you miss your truck when you don't have it for several months. Um, he went and picked up a bunch of metal for me so I can get some back onto some of those projects that I've got going um, that needed some metal. Um, one thing I forgot was the two inch square tube for my, uh, my hammock stand I want to make. But, um, yeah, I'm going to modify this little blue trailer also, the yard cart, um, since I put that hitch on the lawnmower and then there's hitches on the golf carts. I'm going to get rid of the little pin for, you know, most uh, lawnmowers and put a little ball coupler on there for that so that it'll be easier to hook up and use. We've got all of the uh, mulch that was out here on the driveway and I'm going to drag it around to the other side of the house for her to spread out and everything. And um, I got one of the John Deere's working, the other 38. Um, I fixed up hers, uh, the belt, the spindle um, locked up and the belt was jumping off. Um, so luckily I had an extra deck over there from the three that I bought. So I've got, uh, I took that off and swapped it out with the spindle on this black deck. And so now she's up and running again. And then I just have the one John Deere, the L110 to work on out of the three that I bought from the guy. And, um, you know, I, I wanted to get two of them working. I got one, and then the L110 I think will work. So if I can get him running, then we'll be in good shape. And then I can start modifying that one over there for the, um, the little uh, go-kart project I have going on. Then the good, the good thing is this yellow thing that's been sitting here for almost a year now. I found out I took it off um, and then checked out the motor and stuff, and it's got, and it's an old Briggs and Stratton, kind of one of them cast iron ones like on some of the old mowers. But it's a 10 horsepower on here, so I may just try to get that thing running. I think I actually have, well, I have that 12 horsepower that came off of a lawnmower over there, and I think there's a carburetor on it. So that's missing a carburetor, and this one has an electric start, and it, it kicked on and spun and everything. So um, I'm going to try to take that carburetor over there and put it on here and see if I can just get this thing to go, um, and then we'll work on it. But yeah, it's just going to be a little bit of cleanup this weekend. That's what we really need to do is kind of, now that the truck's gone, we can get rid of all the extra stuff and kind of put everything back where it goes and make a little spot um, so that I can, you know, get back in my garage again because <laughs> I love working in there out instead of out here. Um, just open both garage doors, turn a fan on, and you're in the shade all day. So it works out a lot better than, than having, you know, the driveway taken up by the truck and can't get in there. So anyway, as always, just get out there, do something that you like. Um, Find you a nice little hobby and enjoy the day and we'll catch you in the next video. Thanks for watching.